It doesn't matter. The fact that we put people on that river, mm -hmm. we had the father with us and stuff. The fact that all of this was going on, it doesn't matter. There is a group, Cajun Navy 2016, okay, that has been blasting us because they're so jealous. If you mm -hmm. Google Cajun Navy 2016 arrest, the president was arrested a few years ago for contractor fraud. He took money from an elderly man, okay? He gets arrested, and I think it was 2017 or 2018, 2018, they changed the name of the Cajun Navy 16 to Pinnacle Search and Rescue. Pinnacle Search and Rescue was changed because he said they didn't want to be associated with the name Cajun Navy. Okay, now, okay. when he did that, Pinnacle didn't go anywhere because they're not doing anything. So now they changed it back to Cajun Navy 2016, but they still have Pinnacle out there. So to them, it's all about the money. So this thing, they've yeah. given information to Dolly. They've given it to JRL. That's you. So you need to go in them groups and tell everybody, maybe Google, and I'll screenshot it, Google when he was arrested. This has got to stop. These groups that are jealous, there is more missing people than any of us can handle. There's more right, money in right. the world for donations to get than any of us can handle. Yeah. We do not get donations from a search. In the last 13 days, the United Cajun Navy took in $711.12. Now, if you look at what we do, we do stuff all over the world. So you divide that up amongst what we did, that's no money. We spent thousands of dollars on hotels and fuel and stuff in these searches. We got corporate sponsors. We got big sponsors that give us big money to go do what we do, which includes all of these events that we do. So that being said, it's Cajun Navy 2016 that everybody needs to go in when they say scamming. They are miscon they're miscon they're confusing us with Cajun Navy 2016 is what they're doing. Gotcha. And that's what we did, what they're doing. Well, it, it really I, sucks, I know? myself, I've but, had a few run-ins with KLR myself. Um, he, he likes to over dramatize. I mean, flat out lie. Honestly, I called him out a few times myself for putting out obviously fake information. Um, I mean, he he is um, pretty obsessed with the Idaho 4 case, the the four college students in Idaho who were killed. He had some footage of himself driving mm -hmm. around right after it happened. Well, he went back home. And then a couple of weeks later, he posted this supposed new footage of him, new footage of the um, neighborhood with all all these cop cars around the um, one of the fraternities. And I mean, he was just lying out his right? butt about the fraternity and saying that police had surrounded the fraternity. And I was like, wait a minute, this footage looks familiar. I went back to his live from just, you know, the two weeks before, clipped both of them and did a video. And I'm like, JLR, why are you lying to your subscribers? It's the same video from two weeks ago. So yeah, he's he's wow. quite a liar. He's known Jonathan. He's Jonathan Lee Riches is his name, and he is. You can he's on Wikipedia. He's got a, an entire Wikipedia. He's um very litigious. Right. He's in. He's just. He's out there. And well, this know. is the problem in the world. Okay, we do a lot with human trafficking. And if you follow us on social media, you know, any Cajun Navy, you see what we're doing. You yeah. Know, we do and tons I, of stuff. I, I was so surprised and, and when I saw this stuff. Is, right. And people, look, most of the hate out there is coming from fake accounts or doxed accounts or accounts that are spoofed. There's tons of them out there. So sometimes mm -hmm. it looks like people are mad. It's one person creating it, and it's okay. making it look like it's a lot. But, you know, for us, we're doing great things. God keeps blessing us. And you know what? We had to pull out because of threats. But let me tell you something. We didn't pull out. We just backed well. And we're not telling everybody what we're doing. Good. Okay. Yeah. Do I know what happened? We, 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 we on to something. That's why we're getting followed. That's why mm -hmm. we're getting threatened. And that's why we're getting pulled threateningly. Do we know what happened? No. Do we have a theory that we believe is no? the most reliable theory that we're pretty sure is what happened? Of course. Can we get to the where the body is, we think? That's why we keep getting shot or, or, or threatened. 
you know, and all kind of father and everything else. We know that we're in the right area. We just can't get access to that area. You wow. Know, that's the thing. So we, we believe we know where he's at. We just can't get to him. Oh, my gosh. You know, and that's where we're at. So the <laughs> issue is law enforcement doesn't even want to work with us anymore because they're getting threatened so much. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. And I really don't blame them. I don't blame law enforcement for not wanting to work with us. I really don't. You know, but we're still doing what we're doing. We're just quiet about it, you know. Okay. So thank you for the support. You know, just keep up with it. Um, you know, just all I can say is, man, we just, we need to help, you know, and we need to support. And, you know, we're Absolutely. all volunteers. We depend on donations and we're fortunate. There's and a, we're doing a great thing. But just a, if anybody a says of, about a scam and go, go tag KJ. I will. There, there is a, um, yeah, a YouTuber out KJ there. I will. I will. I'm going to do some research on it and make a video and um, put it on my channel. My channel is called Crime Sleuthing, and um, I only have like 8,000 subs. Mind, text I'm that to me. I'm... Say that hey, again. You know what? Text that to me. I'll, I'll make sure I said text me, the, text me your channel, okay. and I'll make sure that I share it out for you. Okay, cool. Yes, well, ma'am. Well, thank if you, you for your help. If you, I know, you I know, yeah, I know you are super, super busy. If you ever, if you come upon some time, I know you've got to get some rest and everything. Um, if you speak to, are you still speaking with the dad, with Seth? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, ma please pass along my personal prayers for him. I have been watching everything that he's been going through and my heart just really goes out to him really really goes out to him and i could mm -hmm. tell on his last interview that he was wanting to say things you know but he just can't and i, I mean he is so strong right. so strong so you tell him i 